Okay, this is on the pellet job, number 53536, installed on 415 by Stetson. So this is just an AC add, um, and it's in this crawl space here. It's a vertical furnace, super tight. Um, and the way they have it, there is no room for a coil. Um, I talked to Dwight and without redoing everything, he said, let's just take the coil out of the case. So the uh, coil is actually 14 and 5 eighths inches tall. And that actually, that goes up to this line right here. So I made a piece of duct just with at this height of the cut line. I figure um, you could probably slide the coil in from the back um, and just notch the duct up in the back. There's just one piece of duct in the back. And my flashlight just died, but so you can't see. Anyway, um, just notch the duct up in the back to get slide the coil in and uh, then patch it back in. That will be the easiest thing to do in this case, uncase the coil. So put um, the coil on a coil base, okay, and it kind of worries me a little bit. I made this uh, bigger because the coil, you know, is the same size as a furnace cabinet, but this duct is half inch smaller. So that's why I made a piece the same, redid this piece, hoping the taper will be enough for the, you know, the coil. I know the coil is smaller than the box, but without seeing the coil, I don't know exactly the size of it, of the uncased part. Anyway, um, okay, so um, the AC will sit out there to the north. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, we don't have a drain down here, so you're going to have to install a condensate pump. Pump the uh, water up and out with the line set. Run a new line set, of course. Um, put a 4-inch aluminum cap in this flue. Change this filter. 16 by 25 by 1 filter. And... Let's go out side. Okay, so these are the condos right by the shop. You can probably park right out here and go through this gate. It's the uh, number three. It's the second building over here on the north side but anyway um so i'm gonna put the ac on a new pad three by three pad um and i told the homeowner we would just sit it in front of this drain clean out here and in front of this so level it right here um he we don't want to go in front of the dryer vent and that's why we're putting it over here um, there's our combustion air, so line set just out. <sighs> and uh, electrician will have to put in a new disconnect. He will get power from the panel inside this laundry room. There's a panel right here. And this 50 amp GE breaker right here, it's labeled for the hot tub but it is not being used. So we will use this breaker space, but we're gonna put in a 20 amp GE breaker in its place. And electrician will need to fish wire down and then out to our new disconnect. Okay, that is it.